I've chosen to speak to you about is the unfoldment and development of mediumship. The first thing we have to recognise, you cannot develop mediumship. True mediumship and true mediums are born, not made. Even if we look back in the history of our families, you will find often that mediumship is hereditary. It may move from one generation to the next, or even skip a generation, but you'll always find the history of mediumship runs through the generations of an individual's family. If we look today, many people want to put the cart before the horse. Often they want to move straight into practical exercises of being able to make contact and give information from the spirit world. What we need to do first is put the horse first. We simply have to develop the power of the spirit that's within. And through developing the power of the spirit within, the gifts that are there will unfold. If we go back to the early days of modern day spiritualism, you found family and friends would gather together in the home, sit around the fireplace without teachers, without deciding who they were going to sit to develop mediumship for and what gifts were going to develop. They simply sat together with the love and joy of the wonder of the spirit and created an atmosphere where the power of their own spirit and the power of the spirit world could manifest. And through that manifestation of the power of the spirit, the gifts would naturally unfold in what way the spirit could work with that power and with which individual they could manifest that power with. But today we have many people choosing and deciding what they want to be and if they can be a medium or not. And often people decide, I want to be a clairvoyant, I want to be a healer. But it is the quality and the power that can manifest through them and the power of the spirit they are as an individual. And if we could move back to those times, they'd be able to sit in the stillness and quietness with families, with that joy and wonder of the power, we would see the true development of the true gifts of the spirit world manifest like we did in those early days of modern day spiritualism. Today we live in an instant world where we want everything yesterday and in the way we want it today. The gift of the spirit is something natural, not unnatural, and something that money or anybody else cannot place there with you. There has to be something there within you that's something beyond what we call normal everyday aspects of our being. Even though we speak about the, the ability of mediumship being there, that we're born with the gift, it does not mean that you've always been consciously aware of those abilities all through your life. They may have laid dormant for, for many years. And it may be that through certain experiences in your life, emotions, um, illness, physical, uh, material tragedies in your life, may then trigger them and bring them to the surface. But then once we have developed this power that's there within the spirit, which is the fuel that makes these abilities of the spirit work, we then have to move into the right direction of the right training for the aspect of that gift that has surfaced. And for many people, it does not happen overnight. It will vary from person to person, individual to individual, on the length of time it takes to develop those particular gifts. But we cannot force them. It has to be the right time for you as an individual, but also the right time for the spirit. And we should allow the power of the spirit and the intelligence of the mind of the spirit world to move and direct us in those steps of the unfoldment of the gifts. So where the mediumistic ability is concerned, it is the power that has to be developed, then the gifts will unfold. We cannot choose them, they cannot be put there, and it's not for us to decide as an individual whether we can be a medium or what abilities we have. Thank you for listening. This talk has been brought to you by the Spiritualist National Union and is of a series of talks upon the philosophy and phenomena of spiritualism. I hope you have enjoyed it.